Good morning, students. Moving on further to lesson number two, acids, bases, and salts. Let us see the introductory part of this chapter. We can say that the juices of sour fruits, juice of lemon, solution of tamarind, and buttermilk, which we use in our day-to-day -day life, has acidic nature. Aqueous solution of baking soda and washing soda have basic nature, while the aqueous solution of common salt is neutral. The acidic, basic, and salt nature of aqueous solution is due to the acid, base, and salt present in it. So we shall obtain more information about acid, base, and salt in this unit. The next topic is theory of acid and base. What are acid and base? Many scientists have given different theories for the answer of these questions. Robert Boyle defined acid and base on the basis of their chemical properties. Acids are sore in taste and turn wet blue litmus paper into red and liberates hydrogen gas by the reaction with metals. Whereas bases are bitter in taste turn wet red litmus paper into blue. This type of definition is called operational definition because it is based on its properties. By the neutralization reaction between acid and base, salt and water are produced. In the modern definition of acid and base, Arrhenius Ronsted Lorry and Lewis acid base theories are included. So let us see these theories one by one. Arrhenius acid base theory. According to Arrhenius' opinion, acid is a substance containing hydrogen which produces hydrogen ion, that is H plus ion, in its aqueous solution. Whereas base is a substance containing hydroxide which produces hydroxide ion in its aqueous solution that is OH minus. Let us take examples to understand this theory. HA aqueous on ionizing with water gives you H plus a minus aqueous. Here A minus is negative ion. It can be chloride ion, bromide ion, nitrate ion. HA is acid which is aqueous in state. When it ionizes with water, gives you H plus aqueous plus A minus aqueous. Let us take example of acid. Here nitric acid in liquid state, when ionizes with water, gives you H plus ion plus nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Same way, when hydrochloric acid ionizes with water, it gives you H plus aqueous plus Cl minus. So here you can see, when an acid gets ionized with water, it gives you hydrogen ion plus negative ion. Moving on further, for bases, MOH solid, when ionizes with water, gives you M plus OH minus, that is hydroxide ion. Here, M plus is nothing but metal ion. Example are sodium hydroxide in solid state, when reacts or ionizes with water, gives you Na plus OH minus. Same way, potassium hydroxide, when ionizes with water, gives you potassium ion plus OH minus aqueous. Arrhenius acid base theory became very powerful, yet it had three limitations. It is applicable to aqueous solution only. Ammonia, the formula of ammonia is NH3, does not contain hydroxide ion. Even then, its aqueous solution acts as a base. It could not be explained in this. Third point, according to this theory, hydrogen ion is highly unstable. 
because it is hydrogen atom without electron its independent existence is not there because it combines with the solvent and forms hydronium ion that is h plus hydrogen ion when combines with water gives you hydronium ion you just recall what we have seen in this particular topic one more time in the introductory part we had seen some of the examples of acid and base which we make use of in our day to day life the examples were the juices of sour fruits juice of lemon solution of tamarind and buttermilk which were acidic in nature whereas aqueous solution of baking soda and washing soda are considered to be basic in nature the acidic basic and salt nature of the aqueous solution is due to the presence of the acid base and salt in it there were some scientists who gave the definition of acid and base in that the first person was robert boyle what was acid and base according to robert boyle robert boyle defined acid as they are sour in taste they turn wet blue litmus paper into red and they liberate hydrogen gas by the reaction with metals whereas bases are bitter in taste turn wet red litmus paper into blue this type of definition is called operational definition because it is based on its properties now by neutralization reaction between acid and base salt and water are produced in the modern era arrhenius bronsted lorry lewis acid base theories are included so we'll just see one by one the theories of this scientist first is arrhenius acid base theory according to arrhenius acid is a substance containing hydrogen which produces hydrogen ion in its aqueous solution base is a substance containing hydroxide which produces hydroxide ion in its aqueous state take examples to understand this ha which is an acid which is seen in an aqueous state when ionizes with water gives you h plus aqueous plus a minus a minus here is a negative ion it can be chloride bromide or nitrate examples are nitric acid when ionizes with water gives you hydrogen ion h plus no3 minus that is nitrate ion same way hydrochloric acid when ionizes with water gives you h plus ion plus cl minus in case of base moh solid when ionizes with water gives you m plus oh minus aqueous where m plus is a metal ion examples are sodium hydroxide in solid state when ionizes with water gives you sodium ion plus hydroxide ion same way potassium hydroxide when ionizes with water gives you potassium ion plus hydroxide ion arrhenius acid base theory was powerful yet it had some limitation it was only applicable for aqueous solution ammonia that is nh3 does not contain hydroxide ion even then in its aqueous solution it acts as a base it could not be explained through this theory according to this theory hydrogen ion is highly unstable because it is hydrogen atom without electron its independent existence is not there because it combines with the solvent that is water here h plus when combines with h2 gives you hydronium ion 